this time on State of the Arts. Art with a twist. Laugh out loud at City Without Walls. I really got the idea when I just started thinking about um, the state of the art world, how it's struggling, how I know so many neighbors, fellow artists who are uh, unemployed, and really just the state of the world. I mean, the recession has been cruel to a lot of people. And I thought it might be time to do something uh, a little lighter in terms of contemporary art. LOL. This is the kind of unexpected show that you can find at City Without Walls, the urban art gallery that's been in Newark since 1975. Ten different artists have work on display. There's art that's like the comics, art based on tweets, and a performance artist who calls herself Dr. Lisa tonight. I really mostly do this character where I'm a self-proclaimed psychotherapist, and I do psychotherapy on comedians, audience volunteers. I have a shrink office at my home, and I'm really good at sort of like giving out kind of, you know, telling what people are like and giving them advice. Um, but tonight, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing it live with the artists here. So I'm going to be looking at the art, and I'm going to be trying to decide what I think about the people's personality, the artist's personality, about from their work. He's not. His parents should be proud of him. <laughs> So, on also, the another thing about David's work that I find particularly interesting is in the style that it's made, which is very, um, you know, like he has things crossed out and all, but it's very technically proficient, but he pretends that it's not. So I think that David doesn't want the responsibility of you thinking that he could actually be a success or that he's actually as talented as he is. I think he just doesn't want that kind of, and I'm just going to say this, this is a little harsh, that kind of adult responsibility. I think she has some sort of background in, in psychology. I don't know how, you know, it might be mail order, but she has some, she has some credibility of some kind. But she, uh, she offers you advice on your career and, you know, how you can handle your career better. And it's very, you know, she's very funny. Well, why do I want these things? They're silly and stupid. So, yeah, I'm conflicted. I am conflicted. To start to rebuild itself. Back at City Without Walls, Dr. Lisa's next patient is Amy Hill a painter of neo-Renaissance portraits. So you can see it's those very serious museum type uh, paintings. Does you guys get that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and what Amy has done is brought them into uh, modern times in a kind of very subtle but cynical way. This woman looks like she's talking about like a, her facelift or look at worrying about wrinkles or whatever. And that one has pro a bottle of Prozac, which you know, I'm a huge fan of Prozac, by the way. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Tell me if you, if you guys agree. I think it's really hard to tell if, she, if these are autobiographical, if she's making fun of herself, or if she's making fun of society. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I think she's making fun of society because I think that the uh, things that she's making fun of are broad enough that they're not personal. So, Amy, do you want to hit me, or...? <laughs> Why am I making fun of art more than anybody else? Um, that these are very... that art is meant to be very serious, and I think it could be funny. It doesn't have to be serious. Amy is um, a terrific painter, needless to say. Since she got so inspired by Hans Memling, I mean, her work just really kind of took off. She's been taking this kind of memling inspired portraiture, but using contemporary characters in it. So you'll have a, a girl uh, walking in a, in a 16th century scene, maybe, with headphones on or something like that. I started doing heavy metal guys. Like, I was reading a rock magazine. I'm into that kind of music. So I started reading heavy metal. I saw an image of a heavy metal guy in a magazine. I thought, this looks so Renaissance. You know, it was so beautiful. The long hair, the logo on the t-shirt. And I said, I, I just want to paint that, you know. 
So I painted a whole bunch of these guys, and like the uglier the better, because I was uh, juxtaposing them with art, you know, like beauty and art, and then these heavy metal. I thought it was funny. And then the painting technique is called glazing, where you use um, thin layers of paint mixed with turpentine or medium. And you do very thin layers, then you let each layer dry before you do a new layer. That's why it takes so long. It takes months. The trouble with today is like people are wearing gap clothing. In the old days, they had these huge collars. Did you ever see those paintings like Rembrandt with the huge collars or Franz Halls? And they you know, made sleeves, like puffy sleeves and, you know, upholstered looking clothing. And today we have gap, you know. So the only thing that decorates our clothing is logos, you know? It's really a, a nice little ornament. I mean, I would never wear anything. I, I avoid any logo myself, but, you know, to me, it's fun. Some people come up to me and say, that, oh, your work is so funny, and I appreciate that. And other people, maybe they're afraid to acknowledge that, because art is, like, in a serious realm, like fine art, you know? I'm not sure if my art is jumping um, categories by being funny. But you walk into a gallery, it's an intimidating place, white walls, you know. The gallery director, you know, is, you know, intimidating. And then when you try to do something funny, it's kind of not expected in that realm. Okay, Amy, what I'm going to say is, is that um, I think you should try to um, put a few more um, autobiographical or elements in the work that you that are very revealing about you because I imagine that you have a lot of feelings that you're that you could be expressing through your work that you're not expressing and that's the great thing about making art it's an opportunity for you to express your work does that make sense to you that's very good yes thank you. okay more personal elements in your work where do I take this? Uh, <laughs> to have it filled. It's just a prescription. I mean, where is the farm? I don't know. Where Find out the where they sell... I don't know. Find out where they sell Prozac, and then we'll get on that. I have health insurance. You have health insurance. Yes. That's good. <laughs> you can just... Yeah, you all take health insurance. Okay, so that was great. Amy.